Hey guys and girls, I'm losing my voice so I'm trying to do this vlog like it's really hard. Anyway, um, just wanted to say I did do a video last week and then like three days later I went to edit it and then I realised it was actually really horrible because I, I just did it um, on like a webcam thing and instead of a proper camera and yeah, it came out really horrible so no. Um, I've got Braxton here, by the way, I've got some little Braxy updates. Um, yeah, he's doing well. I haven't actually gone and taken him to get weighed, so... Um, but he's doing well. We've just actually walked about an hour... How long did we walk to About an hour and a half? About an hour and a half. And they're still going, they don't even want to relax. <laughs> I'm like trying to get them to calm down so I can have a break. Yeah, so anyway, this week... What I had said last week was, or what I had learnt was, um, I had learnt that scientists have proven that the sea is um, getting becoming more acid. There's more acidity in the sea, is what I'm trying to say, um, which is actually produced by our carbon, which um, uh, basically through down through the breakdown process of it, it comes back into the ocean and is increasing the acidity in the sea and in the oceans. And this is actually causing a lot of problems for our little fishy families, such as like starfish, coral, all that kind of things, which is actually a huge thing, <laughs> which is actually a really huge uh, problem because, you know, our coral actually does filter out a lot of the stuff that happens in the sea and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I learned. I said, for what I was listening to, um, I was listening to, <laughs> tabs don't laugh. I was listening to There's Nothing I Would Rather Be Than To Be An Aborigine from the soundtrack of Brand New Day, which is a fantastic song. A if, I am a special person. I love that song. I thought it was hilarious. I love it. The one thing I discovered was that this is a, a, isn't actually news, but this was something that I completely discovered last week, was that the, the first bionic eye is actually on the market and everything. And I just had images of Mad Eye Moon from Harry Potter and whether it spins around and sees from the back of your head or anything like that. It's actually a really clever um, bionic eye thing. So it records um, images from that side of them sends the signals to the Yeah, so yeah, but that's what I saw as well. So I should introduce you to Tabitha. Come in. No. no, okay, she's later. Later. Okay, stop eating all the treats, Brax. Um, so yeah, so that was actually kind of really awesome. What else? Oh, what I've been up to was I did have the press co release, uh, press conference, sorry, for the Sydney Intercultural Film Festival, which was on um, the press conference was on Wednesday. It was fantastic, and then on Thursday night we were filming Trash Baggery, the TV show, the very first episode. A lot of fun lots of stuff ups, lots of mess ups and everything like that but it was actually a really great experience and we now a little bit more organized yeah i am currently working on the documentary um the planning stages and i'm really needing help and volunteers here from the planning stages so if you're available to help me that'd be fantastic i love you long time of my documentary called it's a wildlife you can actually get more info on it's a wildlife documentary.com um, I've got a Facebook page and all that kind of stuff we are crowdfunding the funds for the documentary and it's about animal sanctuaries and uh, animal rescues in Australia I really want to take this into a worldwide thing I would really love to do the same kind of thing um, like in the States in Canada definitely um, yeah lots of different places big shout out to King Lazy my brother from another mother Love you long time. Thank you for all the tweets and stuff. Another big shout out to I don't know I don't know more underscore QC. Did I get that right? I really hope so. Um, who have officially adopted me? <laughs> that is like so funny. Um, totally private joke. I I ended up trying to send them cred because I think they're amazing and a worthwhile cause and fantastic and people really should get behind it. And instead of sending it for like activism or social or something like that I ended up sending for parenting um, so yeah so they you know I'm officially adopted which is awesome um, I've also just finished today which is really I'm kind of excited I haven't told anybody is I've just finished today um, my little children's story about Nita 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 
Let's see, where are you? There you are. There's my needle. Oh, she's looking. She's looking. This is Braxton trying to eat all the treats. It's like I've walked for an hour and a half. You know, I deserve to be fed. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll actually finish my little children's story about Nita, um, and yeah, so I finished that today, so I'm like, yay, can get it, um, edited and hopefully try and get it illustrated and get it out there, I'll be really, really excited. It's kind of about Nita being special, you know, we all think our dogs are special, but you know, she's, she's extra special. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's, it's kind of really cool, sorry. And I think that's about it. I, I, I think I've covered everything. So this week, I really haven't learned anything new this week. There was a, there's this woman, I cannot remember her name. I will find out all the details. I was actually reading in a magazine um, how this woman who was diagnosed, she was only like 27 years old and she was diagnosed with a mess and uh, multiple sclerosis. And um, it was... Um, really really tough time especially for such a young lady and everything you know with her life in front of her she was like an executive or something and um, she ended up have suffering quite badly from um, you know from the symptoms so she ended up turning into yoga and since turning into yoga she hasn't had any kind of like repeat MS symptoms and stuff like that so I thought that was actually quite um, empowering about someone overcoming something which is which is great also another thing your earwax is stronger than you think your earwax is stronger than you think i've learned something new guys i've got something to report to you yay that was this man with an ear infection and he took like huge amounts of medications to try and fix it and in desperation because none of them worked he put in, he put earwax from his good ear into his bad ear and then a few days later the infection was gone so yeah so there you go, you have an ear infection, use the earwax from your good ear, and it'll go away. And it worked for him anyway, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I don't go do that at home. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, as for what I'm listening to this week, this week I've been listening to, I've been kind of driving everyone crazy with Avicii. Is it Avicii or VC? Avicii. Avicii. Anyway, Wake Me Up is a fantastic, fantastic song. What's his name? Um, Allo... Hello Black? Hello yes, the guy that singer? Hello yeah. Black. He he is an awesome singer. I've actually gone and checked out some of his own songs and stuff like that and you have to check him out. It's actually quite a you know, he he also sang, I need a dollar, a dollar, a dollar is what I need. Yeah, probably not the best with my voice right now, but you know. Um he he was he was pretty awesome. Um great, great song. Um and I've also been listening to, what's her name, Lisa Spragan that you introduced me to? Yeah. Lisa Spragan. And what's the song, the B song? Um, that's Last Night. Last Night. And Toast is the second awesome Oh, and Tea and Toast is and another great song. And Lighthouse. Lighthouse. So check those songs. I'll put some links below. Um, as for these kitties so far, Braxton is still searching for his forever home. Where is he? There he is, my boy. He keeps coming right up to each other. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. Um, and he's, he's doing really, really well. He's learning so much and, and getting out there, you know. He's a good trooper, right? Yeah, there you are. So that's, that's the bad boy. He's so cute. Uh, you're beautiful. Yeah, no, you're more interested in the tablet. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so you can find out more about Braxton on the Arctic Breed Rescue website. Um, I'll put some links below for that as well. Um, and yeah, look, that is about, I think I've said about 20 arms just then. But uh, that is about all I can think of right now. I, I don't have um, a great deal more to report. So, I will cut it off here. I will let Braxton, leave it with Braxton's smiley face. And I'll say cheerio. Bye. Next time. Yeah.